Hey, it's Michael, and today I'll be showing you how to do a queue or stack in Rust. So let's get into it. All right, so I put a little repo here together. Uh, it's called Rust Stack Queue. Just a few examples on how to define a stack or a queue in Rust. So Rust doesn't have a native stack or a queue data structure, but they have VecDeck. What's a VecDeck? It is a double-ended queue. So that means you can add elements at the beginning or in the back, so front or back and you can take from the back or the front. So then you can use uh, that structure as a stack or a queue. So here's the TLDR on how to define it. So we quickly import it here, and then we define a mutable VecDec uh, data structure. And then we, for a queue here, so this is the example for a queue. Queue, we use pushback. So you push to the back of this VecDec structure. So that'll add one, two, three, four. And then when we remove two, then we'll just be left with three and four because queues are FIFO, first in, first out structures, right? And then you can do a peak and you can do a clear to uh, clear out the queue. Stack is very similar, just uh, we use the push front instead of the push back because we just wanna push always to the front and then we're gonna be popping from the front here. And then same thing here, we just get the uh, first element to do a peak and then we can do a clear there. Okay, so this is the example in the repository. So I just ran this example and uh, here's the queue. So we do queue.pushback1. So this is what the queue now looks like, just has uh, element one inside it. And if we do pushback2, you can see we have two here at the end. So we have one and two. And remember, pushback pushes it into the back of the structure here. Q push back three, pushes it into the back here, and then same thing with four. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four. And now to get the FIFO uh, element out, so the, the first one basically, the, the oldest one that was in there, the first one we put in, uh, we do pop front. And let's say we call pop front twice, that means one will come out, and then two will come out, and we'll be left with three and four. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If not, feel free to run the example just so you get it in your head. And then to do a peak, which is just to grab what the next element would be without uh, removing it from the queue, uh, we can just do q.get uh, zero. All right, and just a quick note here, Rust loves to use this enum uh, option, which returns sum or none. Okay, so I can quickly look at that. Uh, so when we do a get, or even I think a pop, yeah, pop does it too, it returns an option. And then uh, option returns either none or sum. Sum meaning that there's something there, and then none meaning that there was nothing returned. So that way you avoid errors. You have to check uh, and handle that on your side. Okay. So that's for the queue, and then here's for the stack. Again, same thing, we're gonna push to the front this time, push front, push front, four elements, so you can see it's kind of a backward structure here compared to the queue. And then now we are gonna pop off elements with the stack.pop front, and that returns the enum option sum containing the value four, because that was popped from the front. And then we pop three, and then uh, we're gonna get the peak at the stack. So that's uh, dot get zero, and that's gonna return sum of two, but obviously you can see that uh, the data structure had to remain the same. And then we can do a deck clear, or this is supposed to be stack here, stack dot clear. And then that'll be uh, uh, empty there. And then we can also check if the stack is empty with the is empty method here and that returns true. All right, so that is the whole example here. I just wanted uh, how to do a queue in a stack, so uh, now I know, and uh, hopefully uh, this is helpful for you as well. But yeah, please look at the actual docs here, because uh, there might be some times when you wouldn't want to use the VEC deck. For example, when you're, I think, sorting, you'll want to maybe use a different structure for efficient sorting because uh, these elements are not necessarily next to each other in memory. 
So something to call out and uh, look at when you're evaluating different data structures. But if you need a quick stack and a queue in your code, then uh, this should work fine. All right, and that's it for today. Thanks.